Today, we have a mouse that's not working. This mouse has been acting up for a while now. Sometimes it would stop, but a little shake would make it work again. Over time, I had to shake it harder, and eventually, it stopped working altogether. So, I'm opening up the mouse and removing the circuit board. I had already opened it up earlier, but couldn't find any visible issues, so I put it back together, and it was still usable. But now, it's not working anymore, so it's time to try a trick that often works. Before that, I'll try once more to see if anything happens when I feed 1.5 volts. There's no change on the current meter, so let's proceed. I'm going to reflow the solder joints because I suspect one of them might have cracked. I'm using tape to protect the delicate plastic parts from the heat so they don't melt during the process. I'm not going to search for the specific fault because I'm not sure where it is. I'm going to heat the board with a hot air gun at over 300 degrees Celsius to reflow the solder joints. I won't heat every spot to avoid damaging the sensitive components, but I'll focus on the area around the chip. Today, with lead no longer used in solder, the joints are more brittle, and hairline cracks can easily form. However, by reflowing the entire board, the solder joints can be repaired. Finally, I'll put it back together. I've used this method many times, and it works quite often. In theory, you could even put the whole board in the oven after removing the sensitive parts, but it is more practical to reflow most of the solder joints. Now, let's see if the trick works. Hey, the mouse is working perfectly. Task accomplished.